This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2024 Flagstaff Microlite. And the model number is 21FBRS. Okay? So this is a how-to video. I'm just going to show you some of the features. Okay? You have crank down stabilizers. A power awning with LED strip. A TV signal out plus power plus a bracket to hang the TV on. You get the other half with it too, so you can put it on the back of a TV if you choose. You've got outside speakers. This, this is the range hood vent here. So when you're running the range hood to vent to the outside, make sure the baffle in there is flapping freely like that, okay? Otherwise it won't make it to the outside, so always make sure. When you're traveling, you can just clip that shut. Okay, so that's your dump hose. You have a a griddle here, you can see it ha it's got a hanger on it, um, and that'll hang right on the rail here. And then you get an LP hose that'll connect right here. So you got a quick disconnect, so you can connect the griddle to the LP system. When it comes to your cranks, you got a normal three quarters crank. Then you have this smaller one right here that you see, right? That's for the power tongue jack. If the power tongue jack was happens to fail. Um, you can pull this plug out of the top, put the crank on there, and you crank it manually. So you can always get a hitch and unhitch no matter what. Two LP tanks, which are full. Deep cycle marine batteries, two of them. Power tongue jack, of course. And keep in mind that this has a kill switch right there behind the tanks. You can barely see it. It's a red knob. But you can shut your battery on and off if you choose to right then and there. Um, right now it's on, which is good. Uh, docking lights here. You can see they're on. Okay, this is just a sprayer that goes into your spray ports. Okay, I'll show you some of those as we get to them. Now, this is your freshwater tank fill right here. The most common way to get water to the trailer is through your city water hookup. But if you're camping someplace that does not have city water, you can pre fill your onboard tank right here and then use the onboard pump to pump the water. So you just carry the water with you if you're going someplace without city water. All right, this is your water heater, of course. Right now it's empty because it's winterized, so your, your plug is out, right? You have uh, two switches inside to control this. One is for the electric heating element that's behind this cover, and the other one's for the gas valve, the gas burner. So keep that in mind. Uh, one thing you have to remember that right now this is bypassed because it's winterized and it's also empty, right? So before you ever use it, before you turn it on, always make sure there's water in the tank, in the water, hot water tank, before you turn it on, okay? Uh, fresh water drain, there you can see that white gate valve. Slide room with some storage. You have a, a 30 amp, 25 foot cord, shore cord. This is your water to hook up here. So your city water is right here. We talked about that. This is the most common way to get water to the trailer. Um, to winterize the trailer, this, that's what this is for. You have to educate yourself a bit if you're going to winterize it yourself. That's where you draw the antifreeze in. And this is a black tank flush here. So after you dump your black tank, using the black tank valve, after you dump it, you can leave the valve open, hook the hose at the dump station right onto there, turn around and spray the inside of the trailer or inside of the tank out. Uh, it'll clean off the sensors, give you a good reading, that sort of thing, okay? Uh, this is just a hookup for your, that coiled sprayer I showed you. That's where it plugs into. You have a, it's pre-wired for a Furion backup camera kit. So, uh, if you're interested, you can purchase one. We sell them here if you're interested. And you can put that on there and uh, you can see what's happening behind you when you're backing up and, and going down the road. We have a ladder, which is a great thing because it makes it easy to inspect the roof. The manufacturer states that every 60, 90 days you should inspect the roof. So you want to make sure that's taken care of. It's important to inspect your roof. Um, if you see any issues, take care of it. You can't see what's happening up there unless you go up there and look. So it's an important, uh, it's important to uh, you know, have that as part of your regular maintenance. Okay, so now we'll, we'll go over power here. This trailer has um, a solar panel, of course. It also has an inverter. Inversion is uh, starting with um, DC power and inverting it to 110 AC. So the idea is when you, if you don't have any city uh, or any uh, uh, 110 AC hookup, 
you can always, uh, uh, if you want to run like a blender or a small appliance, these receptacles are inverted, right? Meaning that you can use the inverter on it. So you can plug it in there and you would come over here and this is your control for your inverter. So this takes, like I said, it takes 12 volt DC from your batteries and it will actually um, invert it to 110 AC and you can run small appliances. So right now it's inverting, it hasn't finished setting up yet, so give it a second. All right, so now we're, we're, uh, we've got 120.2, um, or 122, uh, excuse me, uh, AC volts, right? So you can see the battery and it's showing you that it's inverting it. And so you're taking DC power and inverting it to AC power. So that's done right there. Don't leave it. Don't leave it on. Uh, if you only turn it on when you're gonna when you're gonna invert power. Okay. So like I said, it's taking 12 volt DC from your batteries and inverting it to 110 AC to run a small appliance. Hold it for a few seconds when you shut it off. There it goes. Okay. Now we also have solar panels, of course, or panel. All right. Oh, that's not right. All I have to do is find it. Oh, it's up here. This makes it kind of difficult to see, but I'll talk you through it. Um, right now, this is um, it, it's scrolling through the options. Right, this is the main screen right here. Uh, it's the third screen, and it'll tell you the DC voltage in your trailer and how much sun is being gained uh, uh, through the through the cells, the uh, solar cells. Basically, it's converting sunlight to DC power and storing it in your battery. So you got 14.5 volts in the system, which is perfect. Comes around again, there's temperature. Uh, and then here, 4.3, that's uh, how many amps you're getting from the sun and storing it into your battery. So keep that in mind. So it just tells you pretty much everything you need to know. This screen is the most important, right? Um, if it ever starts flashing, and won't respond it says FUL whatever it won't respond it's not broke it's telling you that there's no more room for storage in the battery so it shut the panel off as soon as the the uh, the uh, uh, amps drop in the battery it will kick on and go back to the normal screen so keep that in mind very uh, it's 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 smart in that sense it, it uh, senses all that stuff on its own all right so what we're talking about power this is your power converter most trails trailers have this this does the opposite of the inverter. This converts AC to DC power, right? So when you're plugged into shower powder, you got 110 AC at these circuit breakers here, just like you'd have at home, and they're all labeled, right? Then the power's uh, converted to 12 volt DC over here. Um, so you have 12 volt DC fuses, and then you have, uh, they're all labeled, right? So that, that's where your 12 volt comes from. It's also a battery tender, so it'll sense how much energy you have in your battery and it'll always keep them charged. So um, it'll send as many amps necessary to charge them. So when you're plugged in to shore power, this charges your battery. When you're pulling down the road, your tow vehicle's alternator will charge the battery. And when periodically throughout the day, depending on the conditions and how much sunlight there is, the solar panel will be charging your battery. So um, that's, the, that's the basic uh, system. It's, uh, it's very simple. And um, like I said, when you're looking at your, your solar controller up there, um, you'll recognize the one screen that'll tell you DC voltage on the top and amps gained at the bottom. That's the most common one. That tells you really what you need to know. The other one just tells you temperature and I think uh, storage on the other one. So, okay. Alrighty, so right next to it, this is your carbon monoxide LP gas detector. All right, it should always be green. If it's not green, get it serviced. Of course, your refrigerator here opens both ways. You can open the door both ways. Um, uh, vent that I talked about, the, the, the uh, range hood. Remember, if you're running the fan, you want to open the baffle on the outside if it's shut to make sure that it can vent to the outside. When it comes to your range, it's very simple. Um, this is your sparker. You have two burners. You just turn them on and spark it. And then this one's for your oven. Keep in mind the oven has like a pilot light down here. So, um, I don't know if you can see it sparking there or not, but, but the, you'll, you'll go to the oven knob, you go to the picture of the flame, like right there. You'll depress it. 
um, then you'll spark it till it lights. Once it lights, you hold this in for another 10 or 15 seconds to heat up the thermal couple. Then you'll go to operating temperature and it cycles as an oven does. When you shut it off, the flame goes out, but so does the pilot light. So you have to relight the pilot light every time you use the oven. So you got lights there. Okay. Always travel with this cover down. Okay. Microwave works like any other microwave. Your keys are here. TV set, which is also a sound system. It's, it's a, it has a swing out bracket and the bracket locks into place. But this does FM radio, uh, Bluetooth, everything you need it to do, okay? Um, and that, come, that comes with a remote, which is right here, actually. This is your booklet with all your information in it. This is your, um, uh, let me open this up to see what's inside. This is your packet. Hopefully I can do this with one hand. I'm going to set it down for a minute. Hold on. Yeah. This. This is uh, something that comes with it. This is your tire monitor. So on your, on your wheels, inside the tires, directly across from the valve stem, there's a sensor mounted. So you can program this um, to, to uh, warn you when you have low tire pressure. Uh, it can, you can set, the, it'll sense the temperature of the hubs and you can set it to warn you if they get too hot, that sort of thing. So um, it has to be programmed. Of course, your thermostat. Uh, is simple. One click to the right is heat. Um, two clicks to the left is uh, cool. The other one is fan, which is just the air conditioner running without the compressor. Okay. There's some storage under the bed. This couch jackknifes flat so you can turn it into a, another bed. Okay. When it comes to your your bathroom, the toilet works like any RV toilet does. It sits over a black tank. You just have to remember you can't use it dry. So when you first get to the campground, you hook up your power and your water. Then you're going to put a dose of chemical in there. And you're going to step on the flush pedal right there. Hold it down till at least a gallon of water along with the chemical goes into the black tank below. You can use more water, just not less. Um, once you do that, you're all set. You can't, if you don't, that's considered using it dry. If you use it dry, the smell will be terrible, plus it'll get clogged up. So you always want water and chemical in there, at least a gallon of water, at least. Now this is an eco device here. This is a shower miser. What it is is a water recirculator. So what it does, well, the, the concept is if you're at, um, let's say you're at, at, in a state where they got severe drought problems. You can't really waste fresh water, so while you're heating up the water, normally the cold water would just go down the drain, right? While it's heating up. Um, therefore, you're wasting perfectly good, perfectly good water, plus you're wasting space in your, your gray tank, right? So, if you put it in this position and turn on the hot water, it'll circulate the water around in a loop. It'll go from here to the water heater to the pump, around and around and around until it heats up. Once it heats up, it'll, this will turn a beige color. You'll see it plain as day. And you know that the water's hot enough. Then you go to a normal position there, and um, you've got hot water without wasting any while you're heating it up. So um, that's the shower miser. I want to just remind you that you have, you have the, in your booklet, you have all kinds of information on all these different components. You can also go to their websites and look at their product videos, too, if you're interested. Always travel with this strap shut so these don't ram, you know, break to, uh, slam together and break, okay? You have a GFCI in here. Remember, all the plugs in the trailer are wired through a GFCI, so if you're using a plug outside and it pops, you're still going to reset it in here, all right? You have a really good fan. It's four speed, and uh, the first two speeds you can barely hear, and the top two really crank, so um, it gives you a lot of options. You also have a cover over it. Um, so what, one scenario, for example, uh, let's say it's, it's the time of year where you start to get condensation from your breath. You're out in the woods and you got people over and you're all in here huffing and puffing and you start to get a little condensation. If you put that fan on low, you won't hear it running and it'll pull all that right out. Just for example, there's different ways you can use it, but it's really good at clearing the, clearing the air in here also. Okay. Another thing, this is for public Wi-Fi. This is an option, it's pre-wired. This basically, if you scan that code, it'll take you to the web page and it'll tell you about the kit that, that, that uh, fits here. And it's basically to improve 
uh, and boost your, your public Wi-Fi sig signal. So the kit would consider of a, a consider of a, a or cons uh, consist of a antenna on the roof and then a router box that's about you know uh, eight inches square maybe that fits right here. So you'd have an antenna with a router and it's a signal booster and a router. It does a really good job. So if your family uses a lot of um, public Wi-Fi, then you might want to look into adding that. Okay, that's just an option. Okay, so let me look around and see if I forgot anything. Okay, the control panel. The control panel, you have your power awning. Uh, very simple. Awning, uh, extend and retract. Never leave the awning out unattended. Of course, this one here is for your slide room. Then you can go to your water heater on gas there. You turn on the electric heating hill is right there. Your water pump is right here. Remember we said you can pump water out of the fresh water tank if you don't have city water. Uh, you, this is also used to winterize the trailer. And then you have tank heaters on all your tanks. All your holding tanks so uh, you can extend your camping season by turning this on. Uh, then of course these are all lights here. And that's connect us for uh, an app. You can add the app on. And then you have all your, uh, your levels. You can see they're all empty right now like they should be. And uh, here. you can read all that right there. This tells you about the app right there so if you want to add it to your phone. Okay, emergency window. Um, you just go like this, you open it up. Uh, then you're going, you can push it all the way through. Then you're going to grab a hold of this red tab and pull the screen out, and you can escape during an emergency. Okay, there's a little bit more stuff in here. Let me see what we've got. Okay, here we go. So this is the other half of your outside TV model here. This is your hose, the, the quick connect hose for your griddle that I told you about. Spatula, of course. Uh, an extra collar for your dump hose for an emergency in case you run over the other one or something. You have toilet paper roll holder, uh, towel holder. That's up to you. Most people use the stand, but um, if you screw it into the wall, make sure you try and hit a stud with it. It's, it's, it'll get pulled out, generally speaking, especially if you have kids. Um, that's an inline water filter so you get all that stuff too okay okay so I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit please remember to set about inspecting your roof regularly that's important um, you look for damage by low branches or road debris you look for crack in your separation at the sealant any place water could get in you just give it a good look over you can't see what's happening unless you're up on the roof looking at it so that's important and right now this is winterized all the water has been purged from the system and replaced with antifreeze your water heater is bypassed and empty right now. Always make sure you fill the water heater tank before you turn on any either the gas or the electric, okay? Thank you.